Again? Okay. That's fine for now. I mean, I have to take some more blood, Jenny. More blood? Not more. Dad, I thought you said I wouldn't have to do that anymore. I can only agree with the other doctors. We need more allergy tests and just continue with the inoculation. But we've been through all of that. What about all the medication she's been taking for the last year? Well, it only controls the conditions. It's... Control? She's been getting worse, Doc. What do you think causes it? If I knew that, we'd have the cure. It could be anything. Something in the air, the water. Maybe even the stress of living here. What's the matter? I'm sorry. What is it? I just don't like the way our lives are going. I'm, I'm always unloading on you and the kids. I'm worried about Jenny. I hate my job and I just hate this stinking city. I like it. But I don't know whether it's it's us or the way we're living, but it it's just not working anymore. So what do you want to do, Skip? I want to get out of here. I want to go do the things we talked about doing when we were younger. And what are we staying here for? Look at this place. No, Skip. It's a big move. But what about the kids? What about Jenny? Getting Jenny out of here would be the best thing in the world for her. What do you think? I guess we can try. Are you sure? Well, I'm sure we can't stay like this much longer. I mean, really clear out of here. We're going to sell everything. We'll buy some land. We'll build our own house, we'll, we'll raise our own food, we'll grow our own food. Oh, no. We'll live off the land. You're crazy. I'm serious, really? Let's, we're going to do it, right? We'll do it. Okay. That's it. We'll do okay. it. We're, okay. we're getting out of here. Sure, you know what you're getting into up here? Yep. Sure is a wild place. I'd think twice before I brought my family up. We thought a lot more than twice about it. You know how many people come up here to live and quit? A lot, I imagine. About 99%. Look, Dad, look down there. You see them? They're mountain sheep, son. Up in the high country for the summer. Oh, it's going to be just beautiful. Touch a moose. My dad's been real good. He could do that, can't you? <laughs> I've heard tell some old mountain men have done it. There's a lot of open space out there. You think the animals are friendly? I sure hope so. How much further is it? Just over the ridge?
Come on. Slipping in the water. In the water? Okay. Yeah. Hang on. In the water. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, God. What's that? What's the sound to you? Which way to the nearest neighbor? 25 miles west of here. Three families living in a ranger station. Oh, is there a road there? Lady, the only way out of here is in my airplane. Oh. What about the river? I wouldn't want to try it. Is that the radio? Right here. Well, when you're ready to quit, you can always reach us with it. Thanks, I'll remember that. And what about the Rocky Mountain Report? Oh, every evening between 8.30 and 9, you can catch all the local scandals. What's the Rocky Mountain Report? That's a radio station. That's how people communicate around here. Oh. Well, it's your last chance. We're staying. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Hey, come around and see us when you're in the neighborhood. I'll do that. Bye, young lady. Bye. Bye, Ford. Thanks again. hope we can make it. It's better than I ever dreamed it would be. Oh, let's get up to the cabin. Just temporary. We'll build a much bigger place out here, Pat. We could probably fix it up really nice, right, Dad? Oh! Hey, it's a red moon! <laughs> oh! No, Chris, no! Where'd he go? He went no. up the chimney. He did. He's coming out the chimney. <laughs> I wonder if he lives up there. Oh, he's so cute. You think he'll bite? I don't think so. Looks really gentle. Dad? Oh, get, get in the cabin, quick! Oh, the door is broken! Well, get up on the roof, Toby, come here. Hurry, come on! Get up there. Danny, hurry! <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Get up, get up. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Dad. Where are the guns, Dad? They're over there with the supplies. Oh, are you going to go get them? Not now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. It's all right. It's just a light shower. He's going to be all right.
Did you see it? Good morning. Did you did you see that little bird? It was so cute. It came on the stove and it bit my finger. <laughs> what did he say? No, I'm serious. It was so cute. Look, I'm serious too. I want you to make this into a double sleeping bag by tomorrow, okay? Oh yeah? Yeah. Cool. Well, you better cool off, mister. <laughs> Ours here with nature We are a wilderness family We work together Cut, trim, nail those books We'll build a home forevermore This is a life that loves and keeps us free That's why we are a wilderness family Living with nature under heaven Learning the laws of the land Loving the spirit we are given Of lending a strong and helping hand We work together, cut, trim, nail those books We'll build a home forevermore This is a life that loves and keeps us free That's why we are a wilderness family Stand fast and give a mighty pull Living your life is only learning Just when to push and when to pull We work together, cut, trim, nail those bones That's why we are a wilderness family I'll tell you when it's time. The lunch is on the shelf for you. Thanks. Go back to sleep. Toby, come on, wake up. What the heck is this? Hey, Toy, where did this come from? She crawled in bed with me. What is it? It's a raccoon. I've never seen wild animals this tame. Come on, get going. Are you okay, Toby? Yeah, I'm all right. It kept me warm last night. Let's get going. We gotta get going. Come on.
Go get him, Chris. Go on. Go get him. Up Chris, come on. Go get him. Oh, no. Now what are you going to do? Well, you're just going to have to go out there and get him, Toby. Not me. You're the one who shot him, so you go get him. Chris! Come on! Not that cool. You want to do it? That apple? Here, hold the dog. Hold the dog. Hold him tight. Now. Really hold him tight. You stay. Stay, Crest. Hi. Hey, you guys like apples. Come on over here, Toby.
They're hungry. <laughs> you look like their mother. You look like their father. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come here, baby. Jenny and Toby are pitching in like grown folks to put up a new cabin. So welcome to the territory, folks. Well, that's it for tonight. This is Happy Jack Jackson, the voice of the wilderness, signing off. See, I told you this would be a good place. Look at all the flowers. I sure wouldn't want to go down that way again. Oh, we won't. We'll, we'll go down over there. It'll be easy. It's really beautiful up here, isn't it? Yeah. You think the kids in L.A. heard about Happy Jack Jackson? Oh, I doubt it. I Me never heard too. of Happy Jack Jackson until we came up here. This is a nice spot. Me too. Look at this. How beautiful. I think it's a wild orchid. We should take this home to Mom. What's that? I don't know. Let's go find out. Yeah. I think they're little cougar cubs. Where's the mother? I don't know, but we better scram. Yeah, it might be better too. Do you think the mother would be mad if she knew that we were here? I don't know, but we better not stick around and find out. Come on. <laughs> see her anywhere. Maybe they're on their own. He's licking me! <laughs> Come on, let's go show Dad. Yeah.
him over there. their mother. That's the point. They don't have one. Jenny, show me where you found them. What's wrong? We're taking them back. Oh, Dad. You don't take baby animals out of the forest like that. But, Dad, they did follow us. Jenny, just show me where you found them. Their mother's probably looking for them right now. Maybe you stay here. Oh, Dad. Where? Why did you do that? You know that's not the right thing. Dad? What? They went by that rock. Well, that's the den up there, Jenny. You should have known better. Stay here with the dog. Okay. Russ, come here. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Now you don't have to take home babies? Huh? Yeah. Okay. You're bleeding, Daddy. It's all right. It's only scratches. Only scratches. You kids go play with the bears and stay close to the cabin. I mean it. Sorry. It's all right. You just remember what I said. Okay. Hey, come on. I don't know how you can take this so lightly. Want me to throw a tantrum? You're making a joke out of this. Well, if something would have happened to the kids out there, I don't... The only thing that happened to the children is they both learned a very valuable lesson. That's a terrific school. You, 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 risked, your, you risked your life for a, a lesson. I mean, that could have been Toby or, or Jen out there. But it wasn't. It was me. Skip, you're not thinking about what could have happened. I'm thinking a lot about what could have happened, Pat and it's over, and it's not going to happen again. You're sure of that, huh? 
I can't talk to you. Wait a minute, Skip. I'm taking a walk. I want to discuss this! Thanks, Jenny. Maybe you ought to cook her dinner tonight. That's a good idea. You hear that? It's the plane! What's he doing here? Maybe we've got visitors. It's the mail. Let's go. Come on, Mom. There he is. He's dropped it in the lake. Boy, I hope it's something good. Sister? Everything all right? She sends you her love. And she says the smog is worse than ever. Thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful day, for home and work and happy play. Thank you for rest when the day is done and love that takes care of everyone. And most of all, thank you for taking care of all of us so that we can be here together. Amen. 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 Okay, Mom? Okay. Where did they come from? Mom got it while you were out fishing. First shot. What were they doing? Flying piggyback? Skip. Huh? They were no closer together than yours. Yeah, oh. Mom got two. Well, I think we ought to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> smells great. It's cooked in wild onions. Hey, guess what? Mm. Everything on this table, we provided for ourselves. You look beautiful. Thanks. For a sharpshooter. <laughs> you sure Toby. they weren't sleeping? <laughs> I'm uh, sure. Toby, okay. wants the cabbage?
see how this is going to help us out here. You don't want to grow up ignorant, do you? What's ignorant? Look it up in the dictionary. I don't know how to. You see, that's what I mean. You may not always live here. So you'll have to know those things, Toby. I'm staying here forever. Okay, then what if you want to build your own cabin? Will you know how? Dad will help me. Mom, can't we do this tonight? So we can play during the day at least? Will you really study tonight, though? Sure. Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Yes. Okay, close the books. We'll Great. tell your dad lunch is going to be soon. Okay. Take your sweater, Jim. Kids. Well, they went to look for you. I just saw a bear. Are they down by the river? Yeah. Can you stay right here? Just stay here. Skip. Skip, wait a minute. Yes. Yes. Where's Jenny? Crush when I go Where's Jenny? You get Crush. back to your mother. I'm going after her. Yes, Dad, come with you. No, you stay with your mother. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah.
so glad you came back. I just hope you know your way out of here. Don't worry, Mom. Dad can handle anything. Wanna play checkers, Mom? Sure, why not? Oh, 
chin. Oh, no, I'm so tired. Are you sure she's okay? She's fine. Get some alcohol for the dog. The dog's been hurt. We just bit off more than we could chew out of here. What do you think? You want to go back? I like it here. I'm staying. Well, don't you miss your friends, Toby? <clears throat> well, yeah. But I have a lot of fun here. What about the things that frighten you? I'm scared of nothing, right, Dad? Right, Toby. But you got to have respect for things. What about you, Jim? What do you think? Well, there are some bad things, but there's a lot more good things. Like what? Like having the best backyard in the whole world and being together. Your turn, Pat. Looks like I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Folks, you're our surprise. Uh, well, we just moved in. Uh, we're trying to, anyway. <laughs> Say, it looks like you're doing a good job of it. <laughs> it's a mighty fine set of sticks you got there. Thank you very much. Th this is my wife, Pat. Howdy, man. Howdy. My daughter, Jenny. Howdy. And son, Toby. Howdy. <laughs> my name is Skip. Say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name's uh, Willard Parks. Except uh, my friend, uh, that is what I got left of them, God bless him, uh, they call me Boomer. Mm. Well, listen, uh, are you hungry? Uh, can we interest you in some food or drink? Hey, now, <laughs> that's uh, mighty hospitable of you, lady. Come on, back. Oh, 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 I'll be right with you. Oh, oh, oh. We'll go someplace where you don't want it. It's like shearing the pig. It's all squeal, no wool. Are you folks planning on spending the winter up here? Yeah. Uh, we were, but... Uh, we might not anymore. Uh -oh. What happened? Yesterday, Jenny got attacked by a pack of wolves. Uh, wolves don't attack people. They're just inquisitive. No, I was there. Oh, yeah? Hey, you want to tell me what happened, honey? Well, I was out looking for Crust and... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's uh, this here Crust? Our dog. Oh, well, there you go. No, they'll attack a dog every time. You no, know, about the only thing we got around here that might go after a man is old three toes. Three toes. Who's, who's three toes? Mm, three toes is no grizzly. <laughs> Hated people ever since he got his foot caught in his bear trap. <laughs> you know, he's been known to bring down three or four cows one night. You don't think he'll come around here, do you? No. Now mostly stays up north. <clears throat> Say, my eyes is a little bit bigger than my belly. I think that's enough for me, but it was a mighty fine meal, ma'am, and I do appreciate it. Would you like some co more coffee? Say, I'd love to. Thank you. Here you go, sir. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> yes, sir, this place sure do bring back a flood of memories. Did you know the man that built that place? Oh, yeah, I knowed him. I knowed him, and I buried him. Sure has been a long time since me and old Jake sit up here, swapping lies. What kind of man was he? Most folks didn't like him. But then he didn't like most folks. Sure did love his animals, though. What 
kind of animals. Oh, you name it, he added. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. What did he do with the animals? Oh, he raised them. Raised them from babies. <laughs> yes, sir, this here place used to be a regular orphanage. <laughs> Old Flora over there, she used to hate him. He didn't by any chance have a black bear, did he? Why, you seen one? Yeah. He had all his fun and chased down the river. Right in the river, huh? <laughs> hey, that'll be old Samson. <laughs> Say, now, you wait till he starts a nibbling on your ear. He's that tame. Just like an old hound dog. How do you know it's him? Well, I'll tell you what. You walk right up and you introduce yourself to him. Um, <clears throat> what else did he have? Uh, let's see. He had uh, some wild geese and some otters. Had a raccoon. Did he used to steal food? Is that him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he do it every time. He's always looking for a free meal. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta be going. <clears throat> Can't you stay a little while longer? Well, now, ma'am, I'd love to. I purely would. But uh, I gotta make 15 miles. <laughs> Dang, blast it, where'd they come from? Where did they go? Blast it, don't you run away, now, Flory! Now, you kids, you stay right where you are. If you run after that mule, you're going to chase her plumb out of the country. Flory! Flory! Kids, come back here. Flory! Oh, well, hey, hey, thank, thank you kindly for the grub, ma'am. Uh, see you later, friend. Uh, Flory, now, Dad, blast it, where you going? What would you do if you were out in the wilderness and you had a headache and no medicine? I know. What? You should boil the bark from an aspen tree. Why? Because that's how they make aspirins, right? Right. Very good. Okay, see that mark on that tree over there? What did it? A woodpecker. Wrong. <laughs> it was a bear. That's how they mark their territory around here. You think it's old Three Toes? No, nah, Three Toes is way north of here. But that is a big bear. Hey, let's go find the geese that Boomer told us about, huh? Let's go. Yeah, okay. Come on. Yeah. said it, not me. It's not funny. Come on, Joe, let him go with you. Toby, get back here. Samson, huh? Skip. Skip. What? Be careful.
Samson? Samson. You see what I got here? Would you like a little bread with your honey? Come on, big fella. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. he can leave. I don't know. Maybe if we stop feeding him, he'll get tired. Well, maybe he'll get mad. Maybe we gotta keep feeding him. You're right. It says here that they gorge themselves before going into hibernation for the winter. <laughs> it's not even autumn yet. Well, maybe he's starting early this year. Right? I don't know about that. So yeah. what are we gonna do when we run out of food? I hope they get back up on the roof. You know, you're not supposed to put your feet on the table. It's bad manners. Either, um, lift off the table. Where's the rest of those cookies? They're gone. That's the last, uh, yeah. bowl. Good night, Skip. Good night, Dad. Thanks a lot, guys. Don't you have a girlfriend someplace? This is the last one. You ready to go? Good night, Sam. Breakfast is at seven. I feel the freedom in me flowing like a river running free. Peace is ours just from knowing. We are a wilderness family. We ride the rapids, here life floats along. We found a land where we belong. This is a life that loves and keeps us free. That's why we are a wilderness family. Living with new friends under heaven. Sharing the peace of the land Loving the spirit we are given Of lending a strong and helping hand We play together with our brand new friends In sudden haste the chase begins This is a life that loves and keeps us free That's why we are a wilderness family softer kind of feeling than viewing the light before the dawn run through the warmth of golden sunlight dance with the wind and don't explain who could imagine with the 
this new life Living the city life again This is a life that loves and keeps us free That's why we all Yeah. Everything's leaving. Just the birds. They'll be back. I'm gonna miss them. I wish everything would stay the same. In life, things are changing constantly. We wouldn't have a spring without a winter, would we? I guess not. What's winter gonna be like? Uh, it's gonna be a lot of hard work. It's gonna be a lot of fun, too. We're gonna have to lay in some more meat, Jenny. Do we have to? We're gonna survive. Stay here. You can't go with us this time. You stay here. You watch the cabin. You awake, son? Yeah. Let's go. They know we're hunting them? Yeah, they know. Oh. Do you think we'll get one? With a little patience. You know, the Indians believe that the moose had a spirit. And if you really needed him, he'd be happy to give himself to you. Do you believe in that? Yep. I believe in a lot of things the Indians say after living up here. We did what we had to do, son. You understand? I think 
countries have feelings? Sure they do. In fact, they even like music. It helps them grow. Then maybe we should sing to our vegetable garden every day. I said music, Jennifer. Oh, you mean they're <laughs> choosy? Yes, they prefer classical music. I laughed at the whole year. Not the way Toby eats. Toby's a hog. Jennifer, come on, let's fill up the whole bucket. Okay. No eating. I'm not. Drink some of this. If you 
you okay? Yeah. Mom, he won't come around here, will he? Don't worry, sweetheart. He's miles away from me. Are you all right? Oh, Daddy. You know how to use that. If you have to, use both barrels. Okay, Daddy. Fine crest. Don't worry. Ready? No, you're staying with your mom this time, Toby. Well, I really wouldn't want to be that beer right now. Mom? Oh, thanks, Toby. Did you really scare you? Yeah. Was it all three toes? I don't know, Toby. What'd you do? We ran. Choking him in the stomach. That always works. <laughs> I'll remember that. Grizzly, huh? Are you sure it was all three toes? I'm positive. I tracked him at least five miles. He just kept going north. Do you think he'll come back? No. But I'm going to try to pick his trail up again in the morning. Look, 
But everything's gonna be alright. I'm gonna take care of it. Okay? Okay? tried to fix it. What are we going to do? Jenny? Jenny? She's out of it, Skip. Okay, I'm going to go for help. How? I'm going to take the river. Can you do that? Yes. How long is it going to take? I'm going to go as fast as I can. Just watch her and try to keep her temperature down. Try to keep the temperature down. Skip! Is she going to die? No, Toby, she's not going to die. What makes it happen? There's a big battle going on inside her right now. Are you trying to stop it? Mm-hmm. to eat a lot. It's okay, Toby. It's only the wind.
Okay, sweetheart. It's only a storm. I hope Dad's okay. <sighs> sure he is. Look, I'll show you, okay? It's just a storm. ferocious out there. Well, both the window and what happened again, all right? Okay. How do you feel, huh? Okay. okay, it just scared me. Yeah, it scared me too. It's okay. almost over. Yeah, I nearly blew our whole house down. It only sounded like that, Toby. I think Jenny's fever's gone down, too. She'll be well soon. Does that mean the balance of her is almost over? Almost. But it could come back, you know. Mm. <laughs> Oh, 
Everything's all right. All right, now breathe. Again. And once more. That's fine. Well, what's the verdict? You have the lungs of an 11 year old. Well, besides that, two more days in bed. Oh, two more days. Either that or another shot. That's okay. I'll, I'll take the two more days. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Oh, no. Toby, hey. don't bring them in here. Well, that's all right. She can have a little company. Come from, Toby? Let's just go outside, huh? She had a uh, viral infection. It's a good thing you got me up here. Is it serious, Doctor? It could have been, but those shots I gave her should take care of it. But what about her lung condition? It had nothing to do with her lungs at all. Are you sure? Well, the sound clear as a bell. She'll be fine. How have you been coping with all this? How do you feel? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You keep an eye on her. I'll do that. I'll uh, look in on you folks when I'm up this way again. Maybe we can get in some of that fishing you told me about. That'd be great. And keep that new radio in a safe place. I will. Thanks, Doc. Goodbye, folks. Thank you. Hey, you know Don't what? Grab on we ought to give you a name. What should we name her, Toad? Don't ask me. Ask Dad. Come on, Bandito. Come here, baby. Oh. Maybe we should name him. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go. Ask the pilot to come back in the morning. He's going to fly us all out. Uh, uh, I don't want to go now. Can we just stay until Christmas? Yeah. I mean, who's going to take care of the bear cubs? And I'm going to miss old Samson. So long. You really want to stay, don't you? Only if you do. And if you want to go, I'll understand.
Well, if this is going to be our home, we'd better clean it up. their land, all that's in view, living in a world so new, they learn that love can rise up above to touch the wind and chase the rain today. 